If you know that patch causes harm, why continue to wear it? Calgary police officers seen wearing the thin blue line patch this weekend, despite being told to remove them by Friday. Police say they wear it to honor fallen officers and to show solidarity for one another. But others say it's a symbol with a history tracing back to police brutality and racism. We have to understand the gravity of that symbology of that literally being a hate symbol against folks who are people of colour and who identify as Indigenous. And the decision to remove the patch was not made overnight. One year of consultation and engagement was done with diverse communities after issues arose with it at a Calgary Police Commission meeting. And through that, they learned that it has a history that represents colonialization and emboldens white supremacy. The notion of the thin blue line has extraordinarily negative connotations. Doug King, a professor of justice studies at Mount Royal University, says many officers don't know that during the 1965 Watts riots, it was a symbol of division between police and black people. Instead of going in to Watts, they formed a perimeter around it and would not even let the fire trucks in to put the fire up. Uh, they basically contained it and they contained uh, uh, a community of black people. Calgary's police chief Mark Newfeld has said it's up to officers to comply voluntarily. King says he must get his officers on board. If he does not find a way to bring about voluntary compliance, his job could be at risk here. City News reached out to the CPS for comment on the officers wearing the patch in defiance this Saturday, but didn't hear back in time for broadcast. They are the perpetrators of authority, of violence, and now hate by wearing that patch. The Calgary Police Commission has offered to redesign the logo, pay for it, and let officers and their families have control over the design. And Robinson encourages this if it's done right. My hope is that we have something that's more reflective of Calgary. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.